Okay. I'm here. I stuck to my commitment. Um, that's the first important thing. It's been a day. Um, back from um, winter break and we're doing homeschooling this year. And so getting back into routine is really rough um, when you've been on break for a long time, as most of us know. So this talk is really important today. What is mindfulness? Because I need to come back to being mindful because my kids are having a rest time, some TV time, and I'm feeling frazzled. So um, this is the first Monday of the month, so I'm doing a kids chat uh, in my kids yoga program. So I'm here talking about mindfulness, trying to get myself together and mindful so I can show up for my kiddos in a peaceful way. So this is my um, little uh, sacred space that I come to and I put some smells on and we're talking about mindfulness and I'll get my joy. So if you're not doing the 90 days to um, joyful living, um, get in get in there. It's going to be in the unit section, 90 days to joyful living. And that's why we're talking about what, what actually is mindfulness. So I have my joy to go along with the, um, the challenge, my joy um, oil. Okay, so mindfulness. It is... I got a couple of quotes here. Mindfulness means paying attention in a particular way on purpose in the present moment and non-judgmentally. Paying attention in a particular way on purpose in the present moment and non-judgmentally. And that's John Cabot Zinn. He has some really wonderful books if you're looking for some reading about mindfulness. So earlier today, I posted a, a, a GIF about um, positivity beating up negativity, and um, I just thought that was hilarious. So we're doing this collection of positive words, and so when we hear a positive word or see a positive word, we have a, a certain uh, reaction in the body. But when it's the other way, negative words or negativity, we have a different um, reaction in the body. So noticing your reaction in the body is mindfulness, coming back to the body whenever possible. So any of you that suffer from uh, panic disorders or anxiety um, attacks and things like that, luckily I've never had one. My husband has. I have friends that have, so they've explained it to me. Luckily I haven't, but I am un under the understanding that it is very scary, you feel like you're going to die, you don't know how to get out of it, and it's very, um, it's just very controlling. Your body is out of control, basically. So if you can develop this mindful practice, it's, it's a way to get out of um, that overwhelming spiral and panic. So, um, if negative thoughts pop in your mind during this 90-day challenge, we are not going to judge ourselves. We are going to give ourselves grace. Um, if we are surrounded by somebody that's being negative or using uh, negative words, we are going to notice our body first, pause, and that's being mindful without reacting. It takes lots and lots of practice. That's why it's called mindfulness practice. So as long as we can keep coming back to um, not judging ourselves, being kind to ourselves, and what you can do is talk to yourself like you are a friend. How would you talk to your friend about it? If you are getting, are you, if you're beating yourself up about something, go back to what would I say to my friend at this point? Or, um, you know, how would, but for some of us, we can say, how would my mom talk to me right now? Um, 
and that's really hard for me because I'm I'm missing my mom. My mom passed away a couple years ago, but and and have you watched my um, goals last night? Um, I talked about the criticalness of some of my family members, so sometimes that always doesn't always work for me. How would my mom talk to me right now? So I like the one about how would a friend talk to you? If you are starting to beat yourself up about um, being negative or judging yourself, how would a friend talk to you right now? So try to, um, try to think about that. Let me see if anybody's commenting because I forgot to pull this up. So if you have comments, I would love to read them as we're doing this. Um, this is going to be a short talk, though. I'm almost done. So, um, let's see here. I should have pulled this up already. Um, what else did I have to say today? Okay, so going back to um, anxiety, when we're feeling overwhelmed, when we're feeling that um the beating in our chest, the shortness of breath, the um, the shakiness, whenever, whatever it is for you, when you're feeling that way, come back to your senses. Um, what are some things you see around the room? This is something that people train for with panic attacks. What? Just start naming things around the room, um, like you've never seen them before. Study them. Appreciate them. And then you can go to your smell. What are some things I'm smelling? That's why I use oils a lot. I carry them with me all the time. It gets me back to my body. Um, what are some things I'm hearing? So just start labeling things you're hearing. And what are some things my body is feeling? I feel the chair underneath me. I feel the ground under my feet. I feel my hair right here. So just start labeling things according to your senses. That's mindfulness. If you can start doing this, you have a mindfulness practice. So um, mindfulness is coming back to the body over and over and over and over again. And I don't know whose quote that is, but I just love that. Coming back to the body over and over again. And lastly, getting back to how do we move to non-judgment so we start we are our hardest critics we beat ourselves up over everything that we do wrong um using the word wrong is the first problem we shouldn't be using that there is no wrong we need to get over that we need to be in the moment mindfulness is being in the moment in the present so um befriending yourself and not being mad when you do have judgment. Uh, just notice it. I notice those being judgmental and move on. That's being mindful. Um, so I think that's all I wanted to say was um, what exactly is mindfulness and why do we want to do that? Why do we want to bring it into our lives? So if you aren't part of the 90 day challenge yet, it's going to be here whenever you want to start. Um, in the unit section, you can go to day one and get started. Um, we have a journal to start with, and every week's going to be a different challenge, and um, there'll be giveaways too. So I hope you guys join in anytime um, you feel like joining in. Happy Mindset and Mindful Monday, and I'll be back later. Bye.